Goal.com revealed in January that Manchester City's Abu Dhabi owners wanted to remodel the club's high command by installing a Barcelona executive dream team. The Premier League champions appointed Tiki Bergerestein earlier this week and Goal.com's Greg Stobart has been following the story. Tiki Bergerestein was appointed by Manchester City this week as their new director of football, appointed by Ferran Soriano, um, the former Barcelona vice chairman who was named as City's chief executive in August. As the Premier League champions follow this Spanish Barcelona model as they look to the future to win more Premier League titles to eventually win the Champions League, um, Begiristan has already got his feet under the table. He's been planning this for months. It's been, it's been in the offing since January, really. He's, al he's already looking at potential new signings. He's using his black co little black contacts book. Um, he's using his knowledge of the Spanish market. They want Ben Yat from Real Batiste, the midfielder. And he's also, Barcelona are really worried about this. They're also looking at some really talented Barcelona youngsters, including Jean-Marie Dongu. Goal.com Spanish correspondent Ben Hayward says Bergestein comes with an excellent pedigree. He started in Johan Cruyff's dream team, of course, alongside Pep Guardiola. Won nine trophies as a player at Camp Nou. He then came back to Barcelona after what was a, a low point, really, in the club's history. You know, as technical director in 2003 uh, with Joan Laporta. Uh, he was fundamental in the appointment of Pep Guardiola in 2008 over a certain Jose Mourinho. And you obviously left um, in 2010 as Sandra Rosset came in with his own people, but he was hugely influential and important at Barca and key in that real golden era which brought 12 more trophies to the Catalan club. Some people in football think that actually being director of football at Barcelona wasn't the hardest job in the world, but Bagiristan's got a really good track record. He signed the likes of Davi Villa, Dani Alves, Pique, Ronaldinho, Samuel Eto'o. And that's what City want. They want to sign the next David Silva before he's worth 25 million, when he's worth 2 million, 3 million. And a big part of that is fitting in with UEFA's financial fair play regulations. With Manchester City underperforming on the European stage again this season, Bergerestein's relationship with Pep Guardiola could be key in helping decide the former Barcelona coach's next career move. The shadow of Pep Guardiola is going to loom over the Etihad Stadium especially while City aren't playing particularly well. But with this Spanish link, with this Barcelona link, it's going to be there and Mancini's going to have to learn to deal with it because unless he starts winning the Champions League or winning the treble, it's always going to be there. And you do wonder whether City are setting themselves up to eventually get Guardiola. He's on a sabbatical at the moment, but he'll be looking for a new job next summer. And if I was Roberto Mancini, I'd be feeling the pressure now.